we're all biochemically unique, but there are rules you and I both know scientifically that if we violate them, our energy drops. If we align, and we're gonna have disease, we align with them, high energy. So that's the science of achievement. Get there quicker, how do you do it? One, obsess about what you want, right? Focus on it continuously. Have so much emotion about it that you take massive action. Keep changing your approach, model somebody really great. And then with some grace, take some grace too. Yeah. Um, some call it luck, some call it God. If you do the first three steps, that fourth step usually kicks you over. But the more important lesson and the one that I'm obsessed by getting to people's minds, I really appreciate me planting the seed with everybody. Um, the one that'll change your life more is the art of fulfillment. And I say the art of fulfillment because what will turn you on, excite you, fulfill you, is gonna be different than this man here who I know is your friend behind the camera and this beautiful lady here. It doesn't matter how close we are, we all still are fulfilled by slightly different things. And so, you know, uh, what I really want is I believe that success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. And I really want people to be fulfilled even more so because billionaires, that sounds ridiculous, but they're a dime a dozen. That's an exaggeration. I mean, lots of people become billionaires. What's a hell of a lot more rare is someone who loves life every single day and stays happy when it doesn't go their way. There's nothing worse than an angry rich man, an angry rich woman. You don't want to slap them. You know, it's like they have every benefit in life, but that's what the human mind does. The human brain is 2 million years old, and this is not designed to make you happy. It's designed to make you survive. And survival, it does it by fear. So what the brain does is looks for, what do I need to fight or flight from? And so it's always looking for what's wrong. And our minds can take us over unless your heart is what's running you. So what I try to do is show people how to shift that. And I try to do it two ways. One is I jolt them. Now, one way you can do that is if uh, about two years ago, you know, we lost what I consider to be a national treasure, Robin Williams. Yes. Did you, did, how much did you enjoy or love Robin Williams? He was incredible. And I broke, when I heard that news, it was just like everything I stopped. Know. And it, it was devastating to think also that it took play. Like, well, if you think about it, here's a guy. I met him once. Uh, I was at a TED talk and he loved it. And it was my birthday. And he came and he stood on in a restaurant, surprised me, and, and started singing happy birthday to me as a Jewish woman, as a Russian, as a, all these things. He was such a beautiful soul. And I've never lost a suicide. And I had no idea that years later, that's where he'd be. And he never reached out to me. So, But here's why I bring it up. Here's a man that was a master of the science of achievement. He knew how to take whatever he envisioned and make it real. He wanted to have his own TV show. Everyone told him it was impossible, he did it. He wanted the number one show, Mark and Mindy, he did it. He wanted a beautiful family, he did it. He wanted to make more money than he could ever spend, he did it. He wanted to make movies, he did. He wanted to make movies and win an Academy Award for not being funny, his number one skill, and he did it, right? He wanted to make the whole world laugh and he did it. And he didn't just kill himself, he hung himself in his own home. It's self full to be first, to be as good as possible to you, to take care of you, to keep you whole and healthy. That doesn't mean that you disregard everything and everyone, but you want to come with your cup full. You have to ask for what you want and don't settle for what's available or what you think you can get. Say it again. They told me, say it again. A spiritual code of conduct says that you have to ask for what you want and do not settle for something because it's all you think you can have or because it's what's available. If you want it single, don't settle for it if it's married. Let me take a walk. <laughs> If you want it easy, don't make it hard. And if you want it hard, then you gotta work with it if it's not. Ask for what you want. And, 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 and ask for the things that are gonna up-level your wattage in life. Don't settle for things that are going to dim your light. Up-level your wattage. You, 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 you. <laughs> Sometimes our light be blind, blind enough. Your light is so brilliant, it blinds you. The reflection of it shining back in your eye. And so you get confused 
and you be holding on to things that do not reflect your own brilliance. Did you hear what I said? That your light, your gift, your talent, your truth can be so brilliant that it blinds